When I welcome back, Bodupe Akinsiun don't join me for Inside Studio this morning. She'll be certified leadership development professional. I want to discuss how to set yourself for 2021. Mm. As I talk before, some people don't look and say, uh, <laughs> we never come on this 2020. All the set when we set from 2019, never done. Now that tomorrow we enter 2021 setting again. But then, like we say, if you um, fail to plan, you plan to fail. Bodupe. Yes. Good as you join us for our show this morning. Thank you so much for having me. All right. First of all, we will start with this uh, 2020 mm -hmm. uh, to start with. Many people get very high expectations from 2019. People plan past any I other decade <laughs> as we want to enter um, 2020. But uh, as you see what's happened now, coronavirus in that one corner, they look or say, do I look like a joke <laughs> to you? I have plans of my own. They say man proposes, right. corona disposes. Oh, wow. Uh, I, that's so, new. Now, so we see the matter. But yeah. much for your own opinion, how you see this 2020? Uh, I know it's not be all bad news for everybody. No, 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 no. So there will always be two sides to a coin, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, I think 2020... I would not like to call it good or bad. Okay. I would say it was generally a challenging year. Okay. You know, I, I was having a conversation with some of my friends yesterday. I said, indeed, 2020 was a year of testing, you know, for a lot of people. How, how strong are you? You know, um, I'm a person of faith, and there is this portion of scripture that says that if you fail in the day of adversity, your strength is small. Yeah. I think 2020 has come to test how strong we are as a people, and if you're standing today, I can tell you that you made it this far, maybe not because of your own strength, but because somehow you've got something going for you. Mm. And I, so I want to use this to just say a shout out to everybody who has made it from the beginning of the year up until now. Now, when we talk about good or bad, it's relative, mm. right? Good in what sense? That you met all your goals. Bad in what sense? That you didn't meet all your goals. You know, for some people Good now, in what sense? That you, you know, die. that you didn't die, you know? I mean, that was what I was about to say because some people will be like, you know what? I don't care whether I didn't meet my goals or not, but the fact that I'm alive, it's a good year for mm. me. So good is relative, really. Mm. But what I would define 2020 as was, is, is that it's a year of testing. It's a year. It was a challenging year. All right. Mm -hmm. And people will say, of course, clearly we put plans on ground <laughs> uh, as a virus enter mm -hmm. is scatter events. Uh, people even re-strategize. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't already they hear say second wave of this virus, don't they? Uh, don't river wait. states don't already they talk say they won't even do another second, you know, lockdown. lockdown. Um, as it be for rivers. Lagos already put some kind of partial lockdown already. Mm -hmm. um, certain public places not going to operate. Uh, 12 midnight, night business. Lagos now, you know, now night, night life. life. <laughs> uh, and those businesses suffer where we're this year. I should say they get their plans mm -hmm. too when they start this year. Expansion yeah. and things Absolutely. like that. But also don't enter full stop mm -hmm. as it be. Uh, so people are going to look now and say, as one enter this 2021, which kind of plan person will make mm -hmm. uh, again? Because people like say uncertainty, they look out for fraud. What do you think? Now, this is what I think. Mm. 2020 was a year of uncertainty. 2021, yes. we can't call it uncertainty okay. anymore in that sense. Okay. Now, we've seen the worst. <laughs> we've gone on total lockdown. Now, it's partial lockdown. But the question is, have we as a people or as organizations taking the time to reflect mm. what were really the low, very low moments for us and why? How did this 2020 impact on, you know, I think it was Peter Drucker who said, if you cannot measure it, you cannot manage it. Mm. And if you can't manage it, you can't improve it, right? If we want to enter 2021, you know, we can't enter it the same way we enter 2020. You know, the question is, what, 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 what were the challenges we experienced as a people? Mm -hmm. You know, when it was total lockdown, no movement, all of that, what did we lose? What did we gain? What were the opportunities we identified? Now, all of this should be factored into how we then plan 2021. 20, I mean, this is the time where everybody says, you know what? 2021, they already told us, in fact, in Europe, they're already talking about a new kind of COVID, yes. right? So you, we, 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 we should at this point say, you know what, okay, so what can happen in 2021? Imagine an absolute, not even a partial lockdown. If that happens, what, how can we pivot mm -hmm. as a business? How do I pivot as an individual? You know, someone who has lost his or her job in 2020 is not going to say, I'm going into 2021, maybe looking out for that same job, especially if that job is no longer relevant. Mm. You're going to be asking yourself what new skills am I going to be learning what new business opportunities am I going to be exploring as a business owner so this is the kind of mindset nobody should really go into 2021 saying it shocked me 
it no shock you again, mm. no. Because you already, you don't already write Open the test eye. for 2020. You don't write for 2020. Now, now you won't enter now <laughs> Absolutely. for 2021. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, if you say we could begin the project, mm -hmm. what sectors do you feel say go see serious shake up? Me, I know say certain businesses, uh, you know, they don't, it shock them. Mm -hmm. Say they feel survive, you right. know, through other means. Mm -hmm. Me, don't be day television for a very long time. Session will be saying they work for before. Uh, I shock say now one of their presenter house nine and day till now. Uh, they present all their shows. Wow. By the time when we say blessing at CNBC America, mm -hmm. when they show their anchor, when we say she they present show, uh, as the thing sets, it blessing inside studio she day. As they show us the shots where cameraman take from another angle, which is in her palo, mm -hmm. now in she day and her plasma screen when they her back. Now they carry do background. Wow. I people say, oh, this kind of thing will happen. Everybody come begin they adopt as it be. People say, as this kind of thing don't happen, real estates don't suffer. Mm. Uh, many complexes, then, of course, you know, say office space for Lagos now big money uh, as it be. Mm -hmm. And companies don't they realize say, they don't really too need plenty mm -hmm. office space to take up rates this year. Mm -hmm. People jobs also been they affected. Uh, people say things also feel not ever go back to as it be, it be before. So what they want us be say. When you don't look that kind mm -hmm. matter, look that kind scenario, people when we say their business, their livelihood depend on that kind matter, mm -hmm. how they go begin to adjust? I mean, so, I mean, you, you said something now, you know, that, like I mentioned at the beginning, there yes. will always be two sides. Okay. I know a real estate business owner mm -hmm. who did more, than, who did 140% oh, wow. in sales of real estate mm. this year in Lagos, mm. right? So the question is, what opportunities are those people really seeing? Hmm. Now, maybe not everybody will weather the storm and last through that season in a particular sector, but this is the time to begin to look at it. Now, let me tell you, as you mentioned real estate now, I can tell you that at this time, some of these, um, how do I put it, not shortlets, hmm. but you know these guys who make arrangements for uh, sh makeshift offices? Yes. You know, like, mm -hmm. you, you don't if have you to... offices for like 30 days offices, or that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. To you. They are beginning to, mm -hmm. to, to actually gain ground or yes. gain traction because, you know, because organizations with bigger yes. spaces are begin, beginning to say, you know what, we shrink. don't need this. Maybe we need shorter arrangements. Mm. So in a sense, right, you really can't say blanket, this is what it's going to look mm. like. But of course, there are some obvious um, spaces like logistics, yes. like agriculture, yes. you know, essential services. All of those guys actually boomed. Telcos, they boomed this session, right, this season. So the question is, looking at what you're doing at this time, again, how were you affected in 2020? You know, can you take a stock and ask yourself, where did this impact me? How can technology enable what I'm doing? Yes. Or how, in fact, someone said this here, said, technology is no longer an enabler. Mm -hmm. Technology is the business. Mm -hmm. So as an HR professional now, for instance, I need to see myself as a technology provider solving leadership problems. So I need to think from a technology perspective. So all of these things will have to begin with a mind shift how can I do what I'm doing differently? You know, what opportunities exist? And sometimes it just takes a little bit of, you know, speaking with people in your industry, um, doing a research online and see what the trends are looking like, you know, and of course, searching your heart because not every opportunity is your opportunity. Yes. So finding out what resonates with you and beginning to pivot, you know, whether gradually or even um, okay. like that. All right, look, we enter. We don't talk how business is fit. Mm -hmm. Business, if you sit down, you understand. Mm -hmm. You then go come out, start, then go come out, then go mm -hmm. need to change location, then go uh, change location, then need to embrace technology more, mm -hmm. digital technology more, then go embrace. But maybe we look individuals. Individuals, themselves. yeah. Person where they listen to us go talk, say, I beg you. Now, person will say, get work. Now, mm -hmm. I feel they begin to talk all this one to me. will be say, I not come work again. Me will be say, I lose my job. Mm -hmm. Me will be say, you understand, mm -hmm. where I want to start from, mm -hmm. as it be. We know, say, even for entrepreneurs, things tight. Because True. money self contacts, people oh, not continue to spend. Uh, mm -hmm. That kind of matter. So we could even look individuals as it be. And person when we say this um, virus will don't affect, so we say you don't lose your job. Uh, entrepreneurial business, so we say you they do. Person say you won't know if you did left handed in old age. We understand, say yes, mm. if you learn new skill. Mm. But we know say before you go master that skill, people mm. say they pass you don't already day mm. in business. Before you go learn your own finish, one can't enter. Say, okay, as my own work, they don't sack me, make I follow here, they go. If it is small, oh yeah, which kind of advice you want to be giving individual? I don't want to begin mm. arrange yourself for 2021. You know, um, you may lose your job, right? But you don't necessarily lose your skills. Mm. All right? Mm. Losing your job does not mean you lose yourself mm. either. I've lost my job before, all right? And it's not, it's not a form of disability. Mm. 
right? The question is, what sort of employee were you before that happened? Mm. What kind of skills do you have and how valuable are the skills that you have? You know, um, someone said you don't prepare for war in the day of war. You prepare for war in the time of peace. Mm. The challenge a lot of people had was the fact that they were so comfortable with what they knew, with what they were doing, with where they were working, that when the cheese moved, they did not see it coming. Now, at this time, yes, the deed has happened. You've lost your job. But should you worry about your job or should you worry about yourself? Because the, the future of work is not even no longer about, you know, where you work. It's about what can you do, what you can do. Because freelancing is going to be the order of the day. Yeah. The question is, what is the quality of your expertise? Yes. So if you have lost your job, one of the things you need to step back and ask yourself, it's not even about, oh, why did I lose my job? Well, it was because my boss hated me. It was because my organization. It doesn't really matter why you. The question is, what kind of 2021 do you want for yourself? Mm -hmm. Now, this is the year where a lot of people, you know, are a bit overwhelmed, swarmed, confused. And this is where expertise and knowledge, you know, of what you know to do can actually add value to a lot of people. So you step back and ask yourself, what are the skills that I have? What certifications, what experience have I gathered over the years? Who are the people I can begin to serve as a freelance person? Mm -hmm. I remember when I lost my job then, you know, I, I, I was an HR generalist and I'd worked with a couple of multinationals and all that. I trained myself, I had a couple of certifications. But when I stepped out, of course, I took a break to even reflect. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes it's not easy to jump quickly yes. into something else. You need to first refresh and ensure you're in the right frame of mind before you go into something else, right? Mm -hmm. And so I, I took that time, I reflected, and guess what? Mm -hmm. I began to serve organizations. I put myself out there. Guys, I'm on LinkedIn, for instance. I said, you know what? You need someone to train your people on X, Y, Z, you know, and you need this, I mean, just for free. Let me just do one hour session. And guess what? I was oversubscribed. People reached out, oh, we want you. It was free anyways, mm. you know. And a lot of people said, come on board, come on board. Help us with this, help us with that. And that was how it started for me. That was how my journey, do you understand what I mean? So at this time, step back. What can you do? Who needs your services? And if what you currently, what you were doing, because some people, they had, the job they lost was good readers mm -hmm. because the job safe and a headache. Mm -hmm. So it, this is the time for you to say, okay, what do I really want? Yes, I've had this experience. There are some skills that are always transferable. How to manage people, how to resolve conflicts, how to add value. Those things are transferable. So you need to ask yourself, is this what I want to still do in 2021? If not, then begin to relearn. Reskill yourself. Go on Coursera. Go online. Begin to learn new skills and then pivot or adapt into um, whatever you want. All right. As we talk, since the blessing of people will be sitting in the formal sector, now we just the address. We don't At talk about CEO side. <laughs> we don't talk worker side. Look, we enter the formal sector. Mm -hmm. uh, Mama might be say she didn't make her living from your, from what she sell that day, that yes. day. What we say they are hustling. And then people will say this lockdown affects mm. pass. As when government say maybe sit down for people talk say the one thousand why they gain when I come up for money. Now we see my children they carry chop. Mm. If you say man sit down for us, so I want to collect five hundred naira from. Well, I want to see 1,000 naira from. Mm -hmm. So from Mama when they in formal sector, Papa when they in formal sector, how do you plan to enter this 2021? Now, well, that one... <laughs> that, one that one yet. shocked me. But, but seriously, though, um, the, I mean, this is the time, you know, everybody... I, I wish I could just flow in Pigeon like you just mm -hmm. did so I can really connect, you know, but seriously, this is the time people need to ask. In that time, mm -hmm. imagine when there was even total lockdown. Mm -hmm. Do you know because some people were selling essential services, like food, Yes. Sir. you know? Government couldn't say, food people, you can't work. Yes. The max that happened was, we will alternate market yes. days. Yes. You understand what I mean? So there are some things you need to ask yourself, this thing I'm selling, what else can I sell in this season? Yes. Because selling, you know, at the end of the day, you're in business to make money, right? If what I'm saying, you're not in business to just say, I I'm doing this now to be mm -hmm. happy. Mm -hmm. Yes, happiness is there, but yes. happiness will not put food to your on table. the table alone. So you need to ask yourself, okay, if this thing is not selling in this season because it's not crucial, mm. then how can I begin to position? Now, I know people who you know, did not just, they didn't lose their jobs only, but people who found opportunities in logistics. Yes. You understand what I'm trying to yes. say? Uh, you, you are selling food, madam. Let me help you deliver. You understand? I fear help you deliver. I fear help you, you know, and people begin to find opportunities. Yes. So I think in this season, while it may be very challenging for me to sit here and say, this is what you can do, because I don't know people's peculiar situations, right? What I would say is seeking opportunities that are relevant. Be, oh, put your ear for ground. And I agree with you because I see they talk. Also, just enter my mind. Me, for one, I know they like to the 
wanting as I don't want to say wanting as woman because mm -hmm. now both man and woman responsibility. I don't like to go market. Ah, at all. I don't like to go on. Even when I even work out, they do small uh, documentary mm. during that corona period. Now, so market food, food. everybody packed like sardines. Wow. Inside market, people can't talk to my sister. Well, because if you enter market, nobody believes the coronavirus day. No, corona. They say if we day, see us as we jam pack ourselves inside market here. And if that's the people that. they fear <laughs> to go market. Mm. So I couldn't look and say, now opportunity to, for Mama when be say she know the average, she know the, the corners mm. of the market. So take her upon herself to say this will go happen. Pay me money, make her go make market I go for, for you. you now. Begin supply waiting mm -hmm, day. Two thousand mm -hmm. naira gain day inside. Three thousand naira they go inside. Day, yeah. Because it will go market to enter inside potter potter. No, no they worry you. Mm -hmm. That kind of matter. So truly, truly, mm -hmm. I hear you when it's opportunity there everywhere. Opportunity. It depends for you to look around. Mm -hmm. No waiting you won't do. Mm -hmm. um, now, very interesting matter. We'll Absolutely. sit down and talk this morning. Yeah. Thank you very much. You don't talk waiting CEO, then feed do. You don't talk waiting worker feed do. You don't talk waiting even in format second like mama when they say market. Feed do mm. uh, inside 2021. 20. Thank you. We thank you again as thank you take join us me. this beautiful morning. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.